Hi guys, it's Mrs. Magani here. Uh, this week, for week five, can you believe it, um, we are going to focus on the art of a totem pole. So in the culture um, of North Americans, they in the Northwest coast, um, up towards even Canada, had uh, created totem poles. And that was made and carved out of trees. And then there were animals on these poles, um, symbolic to things that represented either their own culture, uh, commemorating loved ones' deaths, and even things that, you know, might have been important to them, like the animals would symbolize traits. So for this week, the first part of this two-part assignment, I would like for you to come up with two, three, maybe even four animals to put on your totem pole. Now, I asked you to collect a tube, okay? So this could be a toilet paper tube, it could be a paper towel tube, and I actually had that. And so that's what I created my totem pole out of. So you do not, by any way, shape, or form, need to create something as intricate or as detailed as mine, but I had a lot of fun using a tube and then some cardboard, okay? So let's back it up again. I'd like you to find two or three animals. Now, if you're like, this is so complicated, holy cow, Mrs. Magania, maybe you come up with things that are important to you. So maybe that would be you like drawing. So maybe your totem pole might have a pencil that could be symbolic to you. Maybe it's painting. Now, I'm kidding, you don't have to be just like Mrs. Magana, but maybe you love sports. And so your totem pole, its theme might be different sports balls that you've got. Maybe it's the video games. Maybe you have a controller. Maybe one of the video games. Maybe the device council thing itself. Okay, so you can kind of create from this um, your own version, okay, to make it a little bit more meaningful. Now, Native Americans, obviously, we're talking culture, and they lived outside, and so things like a beaver, or maybe even an owl, a deer, a raccoon, those are things that they saw and that were very important to them, okay? For mine, I just had a lot of fun with trying to show you and showcase the different things that you could possibly think of. My thinking, which doesn't necessarily relate to how these are all related, was I loved to add on pieces. Now, what did I get? I literally took a top of a box, okay, a cardboard box, and I cut off that top, and then that's how I got all these little pieces that I added. Now, I glued mine with a hot glue gun. Again, you probably won't have that at home, so you might want to be a little bit more creative than Mrs. Magana's elaborate thing by possibly just using paper. Couldn't you cut out the wings here out of paper? That would be really easy to stick onto the tube then. Maybe you can cut out the face of something like a raccoon with paper and add that piece on. So the things that you're adding on are called additive sculpture, and it makes it way more interesting, like my top and my side beak here, than just the plain old tube itself. The way that I also did this, I kind of disguised, right? By looking at this, you might not immediately think it's a paper towel tube. So your goals again, come up with your animals or your subject matter, you know, is it something that you love, hobbies that you have? Then that way, maybe it's a little bit more easy for you to create something like this, okay? Then for Friday, and I will come back and talk to you again, I want you to gather supplies. So some of you did find those tubes when I asked you for your scavenger hunt. Maybe you didn't, and maybe you might have a little more opportunity by Friday to come up with a tube, toilet paper, paper towel. Maybe you can't find any of that and you're really panicking and that's okay. Maybe you just draw, okay, on Friday with me and I'll give you a video, like I said, your paper. And maybe you're just designing your tube. Or maybe you can even just draw it in seesaw. Now don't do this for Friday. You will do it with me on Friday. 
okay? So I don't want you to race and try and get this all done. But I hope some of your creative juices get flowing and so you can figure out what you want to create just like I created. All right, I'll see you on Friday. Happy creating. And now you'll see on Seesaw what part of that assignment I'm asking for. I get to hear your awesome voices or possibly see your awesome writing. All right, bye guys.